Hi there, join me in this video when I'm at RSPB Benton Cliffs. Bempton Cliffs is a place I've wanted to come to for an awful long time. It's an RSPB reserve set in East Yorkshire and comprises of towering chalk cliffs that comes alive in between March and October with over half a million seabirds, including gannets, puffins, uh, kittiwakes, guillemots and many others. Um, and it's just going to be a really magical morning. Now I'm here really early, it's only five o'clock, but in that way I beat all the other photographers and I'll probably have the place virtually to myself. So come along with me because I know today that I'm really going to enjoy my photography. This is me from the future. I didn't really intend to film this video over two days, but I came back again this afternoon with just my camera and I didn't vlog, um, but I did get a really good shot of a peregrine and some puffins as well. So I'm gonna to have to include those at the end of the video. Now, if this is your first time visiting the channel, then you can do me a really big favor as well by clicking the like, subscribe and the bell notifications because then you'll stay up to date with lots more photographic content like this. Well, I've not even got off the car park yet and I've already spotted some tree sparrows here on the path behind me. I was talking yesterday to somebody at another RSPB reserve and he said that their um, flocks of tree sparrows have all disappeared, mainly because of uh, during lockdown, um, there was nobody feeding them and they seem to have disappeared. And he did say that there are still some here and straight away, I've seen some. There really are so many seabirds here. So far I've seen some kittiwakes and some gannets. Um, there are also razorbills and guillemots. Now they're quite difficult to tell apart because they're almost similar other than the shape of their bill. Um, so I'm gonna have to probably identify them when I get home. Um, I have taken a picture of the identification chart because you know just how bad I am at identifying birds. Um, so it's probably gonna be an ID job when I get back home. So I'm gonna resist um, identifying them while I'm here. It is moments like this that every photographer just lives for. Um, we've got great scenery. There's lots and lots of wildlife, masses of photographic opportunities, and it's just um, magical. I'm really, really enjoying myself this morning. Despite it only being half past five, there's still quite a few other photographers and bird watchers here. Just looking along the cliffs, I can count at least four other people. Um, so it's gonna get very busy later, um, but it is quite cold. I don't know whether the um, video is doing it justice, just how windy it is. Um, I'm glad I've got my hat and my big coat on um, because the wind is just quite bitter this morning, but it does make it quite interesting uh, for taking photographs because the birds that are flying around the cliffs are having to turn into the wind to land on the cliffs so at that point that's a great time to take their photograph because the winds, wings are outstretched and they're fairly static so that's what I'm going to be looking for. Fall, fall for you. 
One problem that I am having this morning is the light is quite low because there's a lot of cloud um, and it's overcast. I've got the ISO up to 1600, but I'm still only getting a shutter speed of about 1 300th, which really is a little bit slow for birds in flight. Um, and I'm also using my Z62, you might notice, instead of my 850, um, because I've managed to damage my 850, um, and so I, there wasn't time to get it repaired for coming on this trip um, and so even though I'm using a hundred to four hundred millimeter Z lens on the front of it I'm still finding um, getting a good focus lock tricky so I'm trying different modes now what I've done is I've set up one of my function buttons so I can cycle through the focus modes just so I can find the best one at the moment I'm going for either dynamic focus or the wide angle animal focus um, just to try and give me the best chance but um, with the shutter speeds that I'm getting I'm still not getting lots of success A little bit of a settings update, what I've done is I've got the shutter speed up to 1 1250th of a second. Now that has underexposed the image um, so I can lift the levels when I get back in the computer. But that has given me much more success when I've got a faster shutter speed. And I've also been experimenting with full autofocus and just letting the camera try and track the birds in flight and that has actually proved fairly successful. I do get some misses, but I tend to get a few more um, hits um, because um, I'm concentrating on tracking the bird rather than keeping it in the center of the focus point. I found a really good position here on this viewing platform for taking birds in flight because the wind is coming this way towards where I am um, and so that means the birds are pointing towards me um, so they're hovering against the wind and they're very close as well so I'm getting some really good shots and back to dynamic focus um, and I've got the shutter speed up to about 1 1,000th and I'm getting some really good shots from here and some points the birds are actually too close to um, fit in the frame at 100 mil. I found a really good spot here because the birds are turning into the wind and they're kind of hovering against the wind to give me plenty of chance to take their photographs um, and that's really good. But also there's loads of um, grass and foliage on the top of the cliff that's sheltering me from the wind so it's a little bit warmer as well. So it's a double bonus. It just goes to show you still need your wits about you. Um, as I was walking along this path, I heard a wren and I've spotted it in this bush. Got some photographs and some video as well. Welcome back to day two. This afternoon, the photography has been far more successful. As you can tell, it's brighter than it was yesterday morning. So I've been able to get the shutter speed much faster and focusing has just been much more successful. But the highlights of this afternoon, firstly, have been the peregrine sighting. Um, it was sat on the edge of a cliff in sunlight um, and so I got lots of really good shots. It, uh, I waited until it was posing really nicely and so that was quite amazing. And then near the end of the visit, I decided to go further along the path away from where the main crowds were down towards the south end of uh, the reserve and then I spotted some puffins fairly close uh, to the path 
Um, they were just sat on the cliff edge and I got some great shots of that and I hopefully might even have some in flight but I know for certain that I've got them sat posing on the edge of the cliff and it really just put a cherry on the cake for this visit. So what I'll do now is I'll show you those pictures and some highlights from yesterday as well. What an amazing visit I've had to Bempton Cliffs. I'm so glad that I came back for a second day. I'd already had a great day yesterday um, with all of the sightings that I saw, but today to see the peregrine and the puffins, it's just been absolutely amazing. It's been a lovely afternoon and I've enjoyed just walking around this afternoon with my camera and not vlogging, um, but I just had to get the vlogging camera out again at the end just to tell you about these extra sightings that I've seen. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, let me know down below in the comments or up over to my Vero account, that's at the Oakland Photography. Leave me a comment there and you can also see lots of my photographs. Now, if you like what I do on the channel and want to help support me to make future content like this, you can also visit my Teespring store because there I've got a range of merchandise and offer. So head off over there because a the purchase really does help me out and it's very much appreciated. And also, don't forget the super thanks button as well. But you don't have to spend any money at all to support the channel. You can do that simply by clicking like, subscribe and the bell notifications because it really does help me out and it makes sure that you don't miss out on any future content. Watch out for next week's video, that goes live on Sunday. In the meantime, go and check out this video just up here, but all that's left now is to say stay safe and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.